This week, we check out two Gato add-ons that are going to make your life so much easier, and we learn how to make the engine gently remind you when you don't use static typing in your variables or functions. But first, it's this week's five games made in Gato to inspire you. I'm Stay at Home Dev, and it's this week in Gato. Peace once graced the island of Aurelia until Romaine wakes from a terrible nightmare to find his two-year-old sister, Alex, missing. Driven to uncover her whereabouts, he journeys across multiple islands, unraveling secrets about his heritage that tie back to an ancient prophecy. Alex RPG combines classic pixel art charm with an emotional quest inspired by the developer's own children, weaving family bonds into every step of the adventure. Only by facing dangerous trials and hidden truths will Romaine learn whether the old legends of Aurelia are more than just a myth. A heartfelt quest awaits. Alex's brother is coming. With Sigma Prime facing a dire resource crisis, you must venture into a hazardous asteroid field to gather vital ore. In Space Outpost Sigma, a single-player 2D top-down adventure, you pilot mining ships or command drones to harvest asteroids whizzing around you. Just watch out for collisions. Random generation ensures every run feels different, whether you're scanning sectors with probes or fending off cosmic debris with powerful shields. Trading ships can supply tools, while transports ferry your hard-earned ore back home. When disaster strikes, escape is your only option. How long can you survive in the endless depths of space? Exile was hollow until you formed the Spare Talents, a ragtag squad with a taste for danger. In Kamikaze Tactics, you'll command pilots and customize ships in strategic, turn-based aerial battles set against a corrupt regime. Every dogfight demands foresight. Position your squad smartly, juggle shields versus missiles, and deploy just the right blend of kinetics or energy weapons. Randomized events and arenas featuring modifiers like artillery or signal jamming keep each run fresh. Can your ever-evolving crew survive the skies long enough to exact revenge and cash in on the chaos? In Libertopia, you're the architect of your own dream library. Free to arrange shelves, place furniture, and classify books by genre, author, era, whatever sparks your imagination. Wander around the classics of world literature, from Shakespeare to Machado de Assis, and also help visitors locate their treasures. Keep the atmosphere tranquil by enforcing no cell phone rules and swiftly shushing any noisy chatter. Meanwhile, co-op play lets you and friends split duties, one tackling book returns while another manages checkouts. A peaceful haven of books awaits. Just make sure it stays that way. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Aero Machina. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week, it doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. One Minute is a lightning-paced roguelite centered on 12 rapid-fire minigames each lasting just five seconds. Every session challenges you to rack up a higher score, fueling a competitive frenzy as you climb the global leaderboards. Earn money to unlock or upgrade mini earn money to unlock or upgrade mini games, hone your skills in training mode, hone your skills in training mode, and show off any flashy <clears throat> and show off flashy cursor skins you can even trade on the Steam marketplace. Whether on a low-end PC or a powerhouse machine, every click counts in this high-speed, mouse-driven adventure. And remember, if you're working on a game or hobby project in the Gato engine, you too can be featured in This Week in Gato and the new hobby game videos coming soon. Just use the links in the description to submit your project. All right, so someone messaged me last week about static typing. Basically, they had a really hard time remembering to do it. Well, did you know that you can make the engine tell you through warnings and errors to do static typing? By going to Project, Project Settings, Debug, GDScript, and setting Untyped Declaration and Inferred Declaration to either Error or Warning, the engine will remind you nicely in the form of a warning or just break your game with an error if you don't statically type your variables and functions. Why do you do this, you ask? Well, static type code is faster. It gives you autocompletes when scripting, and it will create less errors in the long run because you're checking for proper variable typing when you code. I will say, though, that if you haven't done static typing in a project that you've worked on for a while, it, it's going to take a hot minute to fix all of the warnings and the errors. So be prepared. Speaking of GDScripts, 
Let's talk about AI. Let's be honest, more and more people are using AI or language learning models to help them code in game development. One of the big problems is you run into outdated or incorrect code because you're not using the right model. That's where Venice AI comes in. A generative AI platform that prioritizes two things, privacy and user flexibility. With conversation history stored only on your browser and everything encrypted, you can trust that your project information is safe. That's a big problem when you're using something like ChatGPT. Anything you put into their chat, they basically can use however they want. As a pro member, you'll get access to different models like Llama and DeepSeek, as well as Gwen, which is a model that specializes in coding and can provide accurate and relevant code suggestions within GDScript. Plus, it's got a knowledge cutoff of December 2023, so it does have access to GDScript within Gato 4.0. I've tested it myself, and if there's code that you don't understand, which is really what I see as the benefit for using AI within coding, it does a pretty decent job of explaining what exactly it's trying to do. If you're interested in trying out Venice AI for yourself, use my link in the description to get 20% off the pro plan. You'll not only get competitive game dev coding assistance, you're also prioritizing your project's security. Let me know if this sounds familiar. Say you're working on a game mechanic like player health, you set your health value and want to test the damage or healing, right? You make your script changes, you run the game, you run your test, but now you need to reset everything to run it again. Wouldn't it be easier if you could just make changes to player health or cause damage in your game? Well, my friends, you need a developer console, and it's super easy to set one up using one of our plugins of the week. The Gato console add-on from fellow YouTuber Jitspo makes adding a dev console super, super easy, allowing you to add your own console commands and make changes on the fly in-game. After enabling the add-on, you get access to the console singleton, where you can add commands from any script. Commands use a string that then runs a function of your choice. So you can create something like set health to two to set your player health to two in the game. The implementation is really easy. Jitspo even has a tutorial video about it. And in minutes, you're gonna have a fully working developer console. For our second plugin, we're talking about one of the best things about the Gato engine, signals. Debugging signals in Gato can be kind of a headache sometimes, but signal lens makes it effortless. This plugin allows you to click on any node in the remote scene tree and instantly see all of its signal connections in a clear interactive graph. You can watch signals emit in real time, you can freeze them for later inspection, or even adjust their speed to fine tune debugging. It works with both built-in and custom signals, including auto loads, giving you complete visibility into how your project communicates. So guys, if you've ever struggled with tracking signal interactions, Try out Signal Lens. It's an essential tool that really simplifies the process and it's going to save you a whole bunch of time. 